Discover AS Dashboard is a software tool for 32 or 64 bit windows that allows you to connect an interface with your Discover AES batteries. To download and install, head to discoverbattery.com, uh, navigate to the AES page under technology, uh, choose your version, either 32 or 64 bit, uh, download that installation file, and when it's complete, just follow the prompts. The software does have a number of connection options for different batteries. You can talk to the uh, 12 or 14 series with USB or the CAN bus dongle. And if you do have the 15 series, uh, you can use one of our uh, dongles to connect and talk to it. To get started, you're going to want to plug in the battery to your computer uh, with the USB or a provided dongle and make sure the battery is on. You'll then see a connection status show up in the bottom left corner of the screen. In the system tab, uh, we're going to see the model number, serial number. Uh, you can also view hardware version of the BMS, uh, the current firmware version it's running, and you'll also have access to a list of uh, internal BMS data logs, which are marked by year and month. In the history tab, the total hours of charge, discharge, and idle can be seen for the battery as well as total kilowatt hour charged and discharged. There's also a list of uh, fault history. Uh, so we can see how many times a particular fault's happened, uh, when it last happened, and what the most severe value was. You can also generate a report to capture this data and print out. The real-time tab allows for plotting and recording of uh, real-time data. So that can be state of charge, current, voltage, and temperature. Uh, when you want to start a recording, you can go and select your sample interval, uh, where you want to save the file. And you can even set some end conditions so the test can uh, run without being supervised. When the data logging is started, it will create the file, uh, allow it to run for however long you want, stop the data logging, and then go ahead and open the file and you will see the data. In the systems tab, let's go ahead and look at the BMS file list again. Uh, these are monthly data logs that each battery will uh, keep. And here you can select the year and month that you'd like to review and download that file. The data log may take a few minutes to download uh, when that's finished, the program will ask if you want to open it. Uh, you could say no and do that later. Uh, if you do open it, uh, this is what you'll see, and we'll review this data in a different video. The system tab is also where the battery firmware can be updated. Right next to the firmware version, there's a little icon. This will take you to the firmware update interface. Ensure that you've got the latest binary downloaded from the website for your battery. Uh, let the program know where this file is and click update. When the updating is complete, the battery will turn off and you'll notice that the program is no longer communicating with it. Just reach down and turn the battery back on and it should connect back up.